friends, as you guys can see from the title, today we are doing my shop mustache for the month of July. July? I was a little bit of a struggle. It was struggling. I was struggling. We were struggling. <laughs> Um, the month of July, I really took advantage and just enjoyed the outdoors. So a lot of the, I'm actually surprised that I was able to use all this makeup throughout the month because I, there was a, like a straight 10 days where I used zero makeup, but I did prioritize certain things. So I'm happy to say that at least this got taken advantage of because I could tell you my Project 50 uses, zero because I was taking advantage of this. So I wanna share with you guys the palettes and singles that I used this past month. Um, some of them are questionable. Some of them are questionable. So we'll see if some of them will be leaving my collection. So if you're interested to see what I used this past month, stay tuned. Okay, so let's start out with the palettes as I always do. First and foremost, I ended up pulling out my Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette. I only used this one time, really enjoyed it, liked it, nothing extravagant, but it is beautiful enough for me to use, like it even matches my eyes today. It's just enough for me to use if I'm in a pinch and I want something warm tone. It's really pretty, but it is my least favorite of the mini palettes that I do own. The other palette that I pulled out was the Natasha Denona Nude Rich. Now this one, I only mainly used it for the mattes, not necessarily for the shimmers. And the, I only used this one time. And the reason why is because I wanted more of like a burgundy look, but I didn't want to have too much pink. It was just more for like an assistance kind of thing. So that's why I pulled this one out. I love this one. I really enjoy it, but I prefer to use this kind of color story more in the fall. So uh, I just wanted to pull it out because I knew that I could use the mattes for a specific look that I did. So I did use it, but it was mainly for the mattes. The palette that I am wearing today, I only used this one time, obviously, is the Natasha Denona Bronze. So this is the eyeshadow look that I am wearing today. This is beautiful. I really like it, you guys know. I was looking for a bronze palette that had different tones of bronze in it, and this is perfect. I really do love it. This shade Magma, I have it on the outer V. This It's my favorite one out of this. These are the kind of colors that I love to wear all over the lid as a matte eyeshadow look in the summer. It just looks so beautiful with my tan. So I'm, I love this palette so, so much. I'm so happy that I was able to pull it out this summer. Dominique Latte too. So I pulled this one out. This is one of those ones that I wanted to use and the look turned out so beautiful. I did end up filming a video with it and I don't remember what video it was, but I ended up using these four shades right here. And then this one in the inner corner. So pretty, so, so pretty. I really, really like this. I like her formula a lot, even the older ones. So I dig this one. Yes, very happy I picked that, that one out. Here is another Huda one. I pulled out the Empowered one because I haven't been using her much. Now you guys know that this wasn't my favorite one out of hers because it was just eh for me. But I, I ended up reaching for more of the mattes here. And then I ended up using the cream shade and the cream shade is still kicking. Very surprised the cream shade is still kicking, but I did use it for the mattes mainly. I wanted something burnt orangey that day and I pulled it out for that. I didn't use any of the purples or any of the cooler tones, but I did mainly for that one. So it is nice, you know, I've said my things with that one. Then we have the ColourPop, not a box of chocolates. I ended up using this in a video. I've only used this one time. So far, everything has been used one time. So I ended up using this one for a two shadow look. Very pretty, you guys. I like this palette. I, I hope, I wish I had more time to play around with it. But I, like I told you guys, I got lazy this month. I could have used this again, but I do love the formula of this one. I do love the tones of it. It's very pretty. I, I do like this one a lot. I'm maybe pulling this one out again in August because I really want to get more use out of this one. A new one that I pulled out that I've never used before was my Naked Reloaded. This one, I am so surprised that it got a lot of negativity because I think this is beautiful. I love the look that I did. I only used it one time, but the look turned out so beautiful, so put together, and it's very warm tone-esque, but I still get like different tones in here. Cause I get this color right here, I get this Peach. It kind of reminds me of the Sultry palette. That's why I think I like this one so much because I love the Sultry palette and this one is very, very similar to it. So that's why I'm very shocked that a lot of people love the Sultry palette, but had bad things to say about this one. This one's beautiful. The formula was gorgeous. I really like this one. I'm kind of happy I, I picked up this one when it was on sale 
because I really, really like this one a lot. And the last palette that I pulled out, this is the one I used four times so far this month. And it's actually a Z palette that I made of my singles. Now I'm gonna keep this on my desk because my goal was to use all the singles in here. I have been neglecting my singles and since this whole summer is single summer, I figured I'd pull out some of the singles out of my Z palettes and put them in here and mix and match them. So I have Too Faced in here and Makeup Geek singles. So far I've used these two right here, this, this one right here, I've used these two and I've used this mat over here. So it's 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 a work in progress, you guys. These Too Faced shadows right here are my oldest Too Faced shadows and the probably the oldest shadows I have in my collection. So I wanted to test these out in the summer, so I put these two together in a look, in a smoky look. And let me tell you, it lasted all day without creasing, without fading, even better than some palettes that I have that are newer. I'm very surprised with that. But I have not finished playing with everything in here. So we're gonna keep this one out, but I have used that this this month four times. So that's saying a lot because I curated it obviously because I knew these are the shades that I wanted to wear this summertime. Now let's move on to some of the singles that I was able to reach in my collection. So let's start out with the Super Shock Shadow that I pulled out this month. This is called 2014. Well, wow, this is 10 years old. 2014, and this one was beautiful. I like this one. It was just enough for that day where I just wanted something on top. Look how pretty that is. This is a beautiful inner corner highlight. Really like this one. Still staying in my collection, really enjoy it. So far we've been doing really good with as far as things that are staying. The other thing that I pulled out was this. I don't remember where I got this. LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder. Now this one's a little bit crumbly, but if you rub it really good in your hands, like on your fingers, it warms up to your body temperature and it actually looks like a nice, see it right there? It's very similar to 2014. I used this all over the lid and I really liked it, so pretty. And you can build it up. The only thing is, is that obviously it's a loose pigment, so if you don't like that, this would not be for you, but you guys know I don't mind loose pigments. So this one's also staying. The other one that I pulled out was this one from Moira. This is in the shade, what shade are you? Glossé. I was expecting this to look a little bit different than it did. Now I am not gonna 100% get rid of this one yet because I, I wanna give it another chance. This, I thought it was gonna be more bronzy and it ended up being more like orangey gold on my lid. And it may have very well been because of what I put in my crease or what I was wearing that day. But you see that? It looks more orangey yellow than it does bronzy. So I gotta still play around with this one, but this one's on the chopping block because I'm not sure if I like it or not. This does have a lot of sparkle to it. So it does have fallout if you blend it out all over your face. Like you have to put this on and leave it alone because if not, you're gonna get it all over your face because it does have like sparkle throughout of it and it's very loose. So if you don't like that, you wouldn't appreciate it. Like even here, I could see that it, it looks orange and then yellow. And I think it has to do with the sparkles because the sparkles are bright yellow. So it makes the base look orange. See that? It makes it look orange and I don't like that. I just, I'd rather it be bronze. So I'm, I'm gonna try it a different way to see. And if not, I'm just gonna pass this one along because I was on the fence with this one. All right, then I pulled out this Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Liquid Eye in the shade, what shade are you? I don't know. I, I, a body, A-U-B-A-D-E. So this one was really pretty, very sophisticated. Um, it worked out really nice on my eyelids. I have no complaints about this one at all. Look how pretty that is. It's so beautiful. Looked so beautiful on the eyes. So I, and I do have another color that I pulled out that I wanna use. So that one's, I was very excited about. Last two were shadow sticks. I pulled out this Moira shadow stick in the shade shade are you? Oh, here we go. Cinnamon. So this one I wanted to use as a matte all over the eyes and see it right there. It looked really pretty. Now I will tell you that as you blend this one out, it has more of a pinky hue than it does when you leave it like this. Like this, it looks like a cinnamon shade, but when you blend it out, it kind of has like a, 
a pink undertone to it. So I was hoping it would be a little bit more like magma, but it's not. So I like it, but I don't love it. So, but, and the formula is a little bit drier than what I like, but I was able to work with it, so I don't mind it. Last but not least was this Tarte one in Burnt Copper. This is, I will say this is probably my favorite thing that I used. It just looks so pretty on the eyes. So, so pretty, look at that. I love it. Love how it looks. Love the formula of it. So creamy, so blendable, it stays put all day. Not that any of these wore off, but I will say like, it's just, I love these so much. I wish they would come out with these minis again because this was like a holiday set that I got a four very, or five of them. Very beautiful. Really happy that I purchased those because I still use those and they're very old in my collection and I still rock them. So they're really, really pretty. All right, you guys. So that is what I ended up using. There is one thing on the chopping block because I don't know about this one yet. I got to, I got to, play around with it a little bit more because it was my first time trying it out. So I love the formula. I just don't know if the shade is what I'm looking for. So we'll see, we'll see. My my daughter might end up liking this one. So we'll, we'll see what she says too. All right guys, that's all that I have for you guys. I had a nice array. I already have my palettes pulled out for next month. Hopefully I will be able to get back into the groove of things. It always happens in the midsummer where things get really, really hot outside and I just want to be. I want to be left alone under a shade with the wind blowing, my armpits sweating, my boobies sweating, you know, the whole deal. And I'm okay with that. I've accepted it. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the videos on the screen. Until then.